All right, oh, my people. Now, nah, so you be, oh, hmm, on to this one. Ah, they come. Make on a yano na something. After this sister, don't tell on a waiting. They also, they pay them. But if they pay me pass, this sister, oh, all right, oh, after she drop, oh, on a go hear my voice. All right, oh, make on a listen to them. Hey, <laughs> hey. Stay tuned to this channel. This is where you get the best. Now, on to this for today. This one is coming from Joe Ibekwe to the Buhari protesters. It's coming from Joe Ibekwe to Buhari protesters. Said, even on the Independence Day, this is totally absurd. Even on the Independence Day, this is totally absurd. Joe Ibekwe to Buhari protesters. Now, on to the details. Joe Ibekwe took to his verified Facebook page to share the photos of young men and women protesting against, against the government of President Muhammad Buhari, even on an Independence Day. He said, this is absurd and shameful for any true Nigerian to do. This is absurd and shameful for any true Nigerian to do. But most of these people are protesting against insecurity in the land. No doubt the president has done very well in repositioning the country. Especially in the area of infrastructural development, which everyone can agree with. But insecurity is one key area they are asking the Nigerian president to look into. Once again, welcome to this channel. We want to hear from you. What's your take on this? What's your opinion? What's your view? What's your observation? As stated by Joe Ibekwe. Do you think what he said is right? I want to hear from you. You know, they said the voice of the people is the voice of God. Yes, he has shared his opinion. He has made it known on his page. What do you think? What is your take? Do you accept his position? Or do you have a contrary opinion to this? Please click that comment section. We want to hear from you. Your comment is as vital. In fact, it's even more vital than this topic in question. We want to hear from you. We want to hear from you. It's very, very important. And if you are new to this channel, we want to also hear from you. So click on that comment section. And remember to subscribe. By so doing, you will get our latest gist. If you want to subscribe, click on that subscription button. And, um, and at any time, we we'll drop latest updates. You will be notified. Back to this. Hmm. Joe Ibekwe said it is shameful and absurd for a true Nigerian to do so, to protest on Independence Day. The question is is there any day ascribed for individuals to come out and protest? Do you think the Independence Day is, is, is wrong for? people to hear their view do you think it is stated anywhere in a journal in a, in any periodical in any gazette or in any or in our constitution that coming out to protest on independence day is wrong do you think there should be a particular day that should be ascribed for protesters to come out and hear their view and that word used by him what is your take on it that it's a shameful ow oh. For people that have been governed to come out and say no we can't take this no this is getting too much no our life are not safe no our husband are not safe no our children are not safe no there is nothing if we continue this way that the generation yet on bond will meet or the younger generation coming up there's nothing to, to, to leverage on do you think it is wrong do you think it is shameful do you think it is absurd what is your take Joey Bukwe also further stated that, but, and I quote, but most of these people are protesting against insecurity in the land. 
I think this Joey Bukwe is neither here or there. It's partially here, it's partially not there. Well, let me set that aside. What is your take on this? He said, but they are fighting or they are, okay, they are, but they are protesting against insecurity in the land. Is that not enough reason for patriotic citizens to say no? Let's come out and let the government know that our life is not safe. Is that not enough reason? If other stated that the government has tried in the aspect of the positioning of the country, especially in the aspect of infrastructure development, and he said everyone can agree to that. Me or me, I don't know anything. I'm just saying my own, but do you agree to that? Do you have viewers? Do you agree to that that everybody can attest to the fact that the government has tried or the gov the president has tried in the aspect of infrastructural development? Do you think this statement is to the affirmative? Do you think it is true? All right, my sister, you have no <laughs> You have said a lot of things, but you have not eat it on that head. You have not eat the nail on its head. Well, you know, you asked a question that, hmm, is it a good thing? Or what Joe Igbokwe has said so far, is it right, <laughs> my sister? Well, maybe you don't understand who Joe Igbokwe is. Joe Igbokwe is a chameleon. The fact remains that majority of people actually know Joe Igbokwe. And then, you no, know, on his own side, if you hear the Yoruba say Atenuje Koma Kwami, you understand exactly. And uh, Atenuje, that's the way Joe Igbokwe won't chop. Now they do. And even at his age, we are so surprised that even Joe Igbokwe from the southeastern part of the country hmm, is even against the southeasterners simply because he is enjoy his milking. From the federal government that national cake it is sweet time <laughs> and many people don't talk calm say you this man <laughs> no worry <laughs> one day shall be one day monkey go go market you know go come back okay all right i know some people go they say <laughs> this brazo you just eat them no the thing is uh, we don't need you know to paint it you no know, in you no know, a color that will you no know, befit us or a color that we love no 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 we are not painting it the color that it came with that black Hey, carry come <laughs> now that's him black oh now him we go to shwam to una all these people will be say them they say oh the federal government they try they they try we oh my goodness try for where <laughs> well i pity a lot of people because as he sees right now hmm, many things go shell and uh, many things go happen <clears throat> hmm, my brother for a pastor Pastor for house on the rock <laughs> to say, I beg you, my brother, make you get plan B because these people they are crazy. Now, Pastor Tokam, he knows as the heart. Mm, many people don't know 2022, Baba God. <laughs> now, you're under the yo. Hmm. That is why some people wait don't see as the heart, then they para now. Hmm. These set of people, they don't see waiting won't happen. And then tell us, hey, make we go register our <laughs> SIM card, NIN. Oh, my brother, NIN. Okay. Then say, they won't use them. They tackle insecurity. <laughs> insecurity, bow. I've been at them, be the problem. Now then they cause wala for this country. Mm -hmm. Everybody know as they hot. Hmm. My brother, hmm. just shine your eye. Oh. And I hand my foot. All right, my people, that has been it on this one. Let me have your take. And then remember to subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed because henceforth you go to hear my voice. <laughs> All right, thanks and God bless.